So you instituted a problem solving and a problem resolution class yes. at the Ritz Carlton, right? So tell us about what that class was. Well, every employee is certified, has to be certified in problem resolution. So how to handle a complaint? And I kind of touched on that. Uh, everybody who gets a complaint owns a complaint. Everybody says, please forgive me. Not, oh, they do it all the time, and or the, whole, the manager, or, oh, not again, or these things happen when you complain. But if the employee said, please forgive me, I'm so sorry this happened, the guests usually, most of them were embarrassed that they even complained. And this is the 96%. But we then try to do something anyway for them. S send them something in room, they send them a fruit basket in the room, bought them breakfast or something. And they were astonished that a given employee would do that. And they, again, this, this actually moves a guest from dissatisfaction to loyalty. In my opinion, and I feel very strong, if you are an operating company, you have you do actually four things. Number one that you should be doing is keep the guests that you have. And that was a reaction to that. Number two, you find new guests. Number three, you get as much money from the guests as you can. Aha, because you give value. And number four, you work on your efficiencies. Not on your cost cutting. There's a great deal about cost cutting. People get a reward for cost cutting. Cost cutting usually means I take something away from the guest. I make the soap a little smaller and the corporate office applauds me for cost management. But it just hurt the brand. Continuous improvement means I eliminate my mistake and consequently my product is better, my cost is lower. So those are the things you do as a great organization and you will have a great organization. And so that's the difference between efficiency and cost cutting. That's the difference between efficiency and cost cutting. Cost cutting, I mean, I can walk into any business and co cut costs in a moment. I mean, walk into a hotel, you can, take the flowers away, stop the piano from playing, and so on. And, British, and, and a corporate office that sits somewhere hundreds of miles away will send you, will applaud you for being a great manager of money but you're just destroying the brand.